Hey guys, welcome to the old computer museum channel, and this is a Commodore 64 game. And so this one is a little cracked by nostalgia, but it's a 1984 game by Baladi Balali Software, and it's called Jin Jinny, Jin Jinny, and uh, Jin Jinny was actually the first ever game I've played on my Commodore 64. I got my Commodore 64 at Christmas uh, 1984 and um, I've played the first game I've ever 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 played Gin Genie so it has a special place in my heart because of that of course but it's a 1984 game and so here we'll put uh, It's basically a little game that's in uh, the Middle East type uh, area, you know, to think of maybe uh, Baghdad in Iraq or something like that. And you are controlling this uh, little guy there that's on a, a flying carpet, a magic flying carpet. And basically, the game has multiple levels. The first level is here to actually pick up the different um, so here we'll actually start for real at five start. So basically here you go and I have this little magic cloud there that I actually have to uh, Take those little kind of angels out. Uh, of course, the, you don't want to be, be touched by those. And uh, as soon as you've done enough of picking up these little angels there, you will actually go down to the castle. And here you've got basically to cross over all the little windows make sure they are uh, I believe closed or something and there you got inside so you gotta find that window that makes you come inside once you're inside you are able to actually you have to turn on all the different lights on each stairs so you can see it's a cute little game it's a very original game I must say and you see that it opens a trap door at the bottom because once you've done that you actually have to pick up this little pot here and bring it over to that area and then you'll be in the next level where you have to actually pick up the genie here and try to put it in it's got to go inside that pot as you see so I was unable to do it here but Basically, that's the last level. Once you've done that, what will usually happen is that uh, you will actually go back to the first level with the magic carpet and everything is faster paced, so each time it's harder and harder and harder to actually do the different levels. So, basically what you want to do here is the highest score possible. It's kind of a high score game where you need to do the highest score possible. Uh, Gin Genie is a game that was available on a cartridge at the original and then it was also available as a tape. I uh, remember I loaded the first time Gin Genie out of a tape in the Commodore data set, you know, that tape cassette where you would actually record your programs. Uh, I give uh, this game a score of 8 out of 10. I think it's worth it. It's fun play. I don't give it a higher score 
because not too many levels so it's actually you know starting over all the time all the time and all the time and doing the same stuff all and over and over and over again but with a level of difficulty that is higher and higher each time so uh, it's fun entertaining but uh, at the same time you'll probably get bored pretty fast of this game after a while but it is fun gameplay and it's uh, nice little graphics, you know, really uh, cool graphics uh, giving you a look of the inside here of the um, castles and all. So, uh, a nice little music here at the beginning. So this is a Commodore 64 game called Gin Genie and it's available as a one disc uh, D64 on the Commodore 64. In, uh, on the internet. If you enjoy these look at old games, old consoles, and uh, old computers, click the subscribe button. You'll be informed of all the videos we put online. If you have any comments or questions on what you've seen, please let us, uh, let us know. And of course, uh, lots of videos online on the Old Computer Museum channel, so take a look. We have lots and lots of stuff, and hundreds of videos literally are going to be coming up on this channel. So I think it's uh, going to be really worth uh, while to uh, either subscribe or just you know keep it as a f keep us as a favorite on the old computer museum like that you'll be able to come often and see what are the new videos we put online. So uh, thanks for watching. Hope to see you back on the old computer museum and take care. Bye bye.